Welcome back to Dustin Legion Tale. Uh, let's get back into this boss fight with Lady Thestus. Did you said not good enunciating? Oh dear. Broke my chain. Need some more of my wall chicken. Gotcha. Well, that didn't take too long. Ah, waters of life. What? What have you done? Knock some sense into you, I hope. I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Aura speaks of? I saw what the general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Mm -hmm. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blame for the Lizzie. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blame for the Lizzie? I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you were doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes! I only hope it's not too late. Indeed. Though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius and his campaign on the surface. Mm -hmm. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. North ho! Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the service. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all service dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. Mm -hmm. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general Gaius. You can Ooh. see into my past? Your soul is fragmented. Like a shattered mirror, I can only see reflections in the broken pieces. And what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within you, Dust. How a little creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What? What have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. You have my thanks, Dust. Okay. Let us go. Let me use up a lot of my wall chicken. Ooh. An ability.
What did we get? Uh, new projectile. Oh! Is that be good? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Ah! I forgot I could take these onto the next screens with me. Explosions. Hey look, sunlight. Fancy that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes, even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. Hmm. Let us go, come on. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, hmm? here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. As long as you don't hit me with your spoon for taking too much time. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? Um... He held on as long as he could, but it just wasn't enough. Huh? Oh no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Does you stop that moaning right this instant? You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. Hmm. I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't <coughs> excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew, and it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. 
Because you're dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. That made me a little sad. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back, though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm? I promise. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Does? Do you think... Somehow, you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? Put it in my bag. This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. If you can find all six of my sheep, I'd be much... Hmm. We'll bring you your... Thank you. You did your best, Dust. And for that, I am grateful. We'll manage somehow. We always do. Oh, that put me in a somber mood. We'll bring you your... Thank you. Oh, let's go this way. <sighs> oh. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. Mm -hmm. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and <laughs> Endless Pain Hill? <laughs> it was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place, but even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Alright. 
Well, we ain't leaving yet. We need to find some more sheep. And some red moss and whatnot. Just check over here real quick. Wait, why'd I go this way? Obviously it's not there. Hmm. Okay. And find the rest of those sheep and find some red moss. I think I know where I'm supposed to go for it. way to build my combo up. Get enough of them just use the hell out of that. Big ol' combo. Jeez. 
Keeps not. <laughs> and I think this is a good point to stop for now. So thank you for joining me on Dust and Illusion Tale. We'll continue looking for that red moss and the sheep on the next episode. So y'all have a nice day. Take care.